Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Week, last show of the year. Thanks for joining us. Uh, as you can tell, uh, we are in, well, we aren't in Cacophony. We haven't been in Cacophony in a while, but this is the Cacophony soap opera. So thanks for joining us. Uh, we've got an entertaining show here, as you can tell. We've added an individual. Maybe she's integral to the plot. Maybe the other two are just burying her. It's hard to say. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, like the aforementioned shirt, phone case, uh, jock straps, ladies' what? undergarments yeah. are on a different... Jock straps? No, we don't have any jock straps. I've heard of the ladies' undergarments. Well, the ladies' undergarments are available, but not at our store. They're on a different site. Go ahead and check our Twitter feed for that address. If you want to be on a one-shot like this Saturday, uh, or you want to be on our Between the Rolls talk show on Tuesday next year, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, uh, hit me up. I will get you on there. Uh, don't forget, if you need some dice, if the dice Santa did not give you any and you need some more, uh, contact at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. They make custom dice. See if they have the time, the inclination, or even give two shits about making your dice for you. <laughs> maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike the sweet smell of success of Cacophony, uh, get yourself some Odd Fish Games Adventure Scents, over 60 different scents available. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to write more gooder than me, uh, check that out. They are all done with the fulfillment of how to RPG with your cat, except for international customers, I believe. So if you're a domestic customer and you haven't gotten your stuff, go ahead and hit them up. Otherwise, please enjoy uh, their thanks uh, for helping them out with how to RPG with your cat. As I said before, this is Cacophony. So let's go ahead and introduce you to the players who are going to make you think, what are you doing? Uh, for the next two hours or so, uh, we're going to sandwich the newbie in. So we will start with David first. David, who are you and who do you play? Hi. Hi, I am David. Uh, you might know me from our other campaigns, uh, the Calamity A and B campaigns. I play Ingbe and I play Crow. Uh, I'm also usually on between the rolls on Tuesdays and yeah, every once in a while, a one shot. So I got my hat in for this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and uh, yeah, tonight I play Zadar on Cacophony. So he is the arcane trickster slash he's got some she. wizard abilities. She. He, she. They. It, they. It's yeah, the pronoun really, is yeah. they. The pronoun is they for Zadar. It's they, whatever the heck you're presenting as. They right. slashed whatever. Yeah. They, so right she. now, they, are you they, she right now, or they, he? He's, they, he's been right a they, now. she forever. Yeah, you uh, actually do seem to put, you seem to swing more towards female. Hmm? Hey, that's not how we phrase things. Uh, next up is Carol. Carol, uh, <laughs> she's been here before. Who are you and who are you playing? Oh, my God. So, hi. Wow, it's been a long time since I've been on this campaign. Uh, so, so, my name is... <laughs> so, sorry, it's a campaign. I don't care. It does not have <laughs> bed hopping to be a soap opera, folks, okay? Although... Although me finally coming back around after, oh, probably the better part of a year of not being on this, that's that's sort of a so popular thing right there. So, so all right, so uh, let's see. So my name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commissioned mini painter. I have my own Twitch stream under muses underscore touch, uh, and I stream painting minis. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I am normally... You can find me on the CRED campaign, which is the campaign that goes off, you know, uh, on the weeks this one is off, uh, where we do call Cthulhu Meets d, &D and it's a ton of fun. I play Anja there. And on here, though, I'm bringing back Rosa the Raven, my swashbuckling pirate. Yar. To find out what the fuck did Frank do by sending an entire League of Assassins after for You've already figured even that one out. Uh, did Frank right. do it or did you do it? You picked a fight somewhere. That's I right. probably did. Last but certainly not least, Carrie. Carrie, who are you and who do you play? 
I'm Carrie, and I play Camille, a um, wizard necromancer, and that's about all I do. I just hang out. Punch people in the throat. Punch people in the throat and whack them in the nuts. <laughs> okay, folks, like I said, this is Cacophony. Uh, David and Carrie uh, have been stuck here for three weeks now. Forever. They, are, they, they have been in oh, league with one of the librarians. Festival. That's true. Uh, they've been in league with one of the librarians who's trying to find answers to their questions, i.e. time travel and how to cure Mortimer J. Speed, who was supposed to be back at the Grand Academy, who has apparently fucking escaped and is also in Nathian, uh, the Gnomish uh, I forgot how he got here. Yeah, yeah he came via airship. Uh, last episode, about a month ago... Uh, <laughs> These guys had a small problem. Uh, Nathian, the Gnomish capital, has Warforged as the bulk of their guards. A slight computer malfunction from a hacker uh, caused all of the Warforged, including Colonel Clank, their compatriot, babysitter, to malfunction, uh, forcing Gnomish commandos. Uh, what did we call them? SEAL Team 1 or? Oh, something like that, or SEAL Team 6 something. Uh, six or... and a half, yeah. yeah. SEAL Team 3 and a half. It'd have uh, to be half. Yeah, the, 3 uh, and a half. SEAL the, Team 3 and a half. There we, yeah. there we go. The uh, Merchant Marines uh, stormed the place, coming out of air travel, i.e. balloons, uh, to rappel down and help save the day. Fortunately, Zadar and Camille uh, were able to get some clues as to what was going on. They find themselves, as we start, in an airship with, <laughs> uh, I think you're with Brock Harjaw. No, you're with Hente Tweed, the lieutenant commando. Uh, she's a female gnome, and they are uh, covering the city for air support in the case of uh, any... Uh, problems uh, should occur. Uh, as you guys are up there, uh, Zadar did notice an individual dressed like a pirate, possibly Rosa, being chased uh, by the Order of Pick, the monk assassins uh, that these three have all dealt with before. Very dangerous foes, not to be trifled with. Uh, when they arrived in Nathian, they found that the Order of Pick was looking for Rosa for unknown reasons. As we begin, it is still partly cloudy uh, and the sunlight is dimming. Zadar, you spotted what you thought was Rosa going through the maze of streets. What would you and Camille like to do? Um, yeah. <laughs> Zadar gets it in his head, but uh, maybe he should help uh, this person that he Thing that that she thinks is Rosa <laughs> and uh, points out to our um, our team captain that uh, someone is being chased uh, uh, through the alleys and the streets down below, and uh, I think it's somebody pertinent that we need to help. D twelve against me. Okay. Well, hey, uh, she says, okay, and begins the slow turn. Uh, as you guys begin to move about, your vision is obscured, and you come around to the area where the chase was going on. Give me a perception check. Uh, that would be a natural one. So a building probably passed in front of me, and I lost sight. Uh, cloud obscured your vision uh, with poor visibility. Uh, unfortunately, you guys have lost it. You don't see the pursuee or the pursuers. Okay. Does uh, the airship the... have a spotlight? No. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, it's no much technology. You would think it, it would. You think. Uh, Lieutenant Tweed asks you, where is this person? Uh, we lost sight of them. Uh, they were probably, uh, uh, 
Do I, can I see the alley, the last alley that I saw her run through? Or mm -hmm. okay, uh, I believe she and I point to the alley that that she darted down there, and I think it's a person of interest. So, well, uh, she offers you the opportunity to go ahead and land on the wizard's tower, pointing out that uh, that might not be well received. Uh, the foot pursuit was right in here. Mm -hmm. uh, the landing spot here is at the wizard tower, or she could put you down in the open field, but that puts you a fair distance away. How tall is the wizard tower? 30 feet. Perfect. Okay, the wizard tower it is. <clears throat> sure. Uh, wow. Give me a survival check, Zadar. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, survival. Um, uh, but what is my survival? Ooh, okay. Um, that would be a 20, not natural. Very good. Uh, you guys successfully land atop the tower. Uh, and she says, are, are, are you jumping out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> At this point. Oh. Uh, uh, Zadar grabs Camille's hands and then, poof, Misty steps down to the street below. Ooh, very nice. Uh, you guys land on the street. Uh, both of you give me a perception check. Okay. Ooh, okay, much better this time. Uh, let's see, what is my modifier? Perception. Okay. Ugh, 11. Uh, Camille, you do not see it. Zadar, you do see it. 22, uh, yeah. Two, two members of the Order of Pick are putting the boot to a pirate. What? Uh -oh. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to evade them. They got you. Maybe, maybe. Not. I was, I was so hoping know. it you'd might not be her. It, the might, be, right it might be somebody else. How far so, away are they? Is, I was hoping you'd fly the ship right over and drop a line. I just said they swashbucklery. <laughs> they, they are about sixty feet out away. Out <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, hey, so, pricks. What's going on? Oh, damn it. <laughs> there goes my element of surprise. Thanks, Camille. <laughs> well, is it me for starters? No, no. Uh, they, they're putting the boot to this guy or lady, uh, so they are not paying any attention to you. Okay. Uh, yeah. For <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, let's see. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Uh, since they're not paying attention, uh, Zadar is going to uh, tell Camille to uh, hang back just a little bit, and he's going to try to stealth his way, uh, her way, With her towards uh, towards the robed figures putting the boot to the pirate. Sure. A crowd is gathering. Give me your uh -oh. stealth. Okay. Then I hey, can here. blend into the crowd. So. Yeah. Give me your stealth. Uh, yeah, everybody likes a good beat down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially in this town. <laughs> Don't okay, make me stealth PM, 21 DM you. for stealth. Sure, yeah, you manage to bob and weave your way through the crowd. Uh, give a little cleavage shot. You get up on the front row. Give me an insight check. Okay. <laughs> uh, not very insightful. Uh, yeah, that would be seven. Uh, there's a pirate hat that looks pretty recognizable, uh, that has been knocked off the individual getting the boot. Uh, however, the two members of the order of pick have stopped putting the boot to this individual. Okay. Are they shy uh, of the crowd? <laughs> no, the, the crowd is staying away, but they still want to see it. Uh, you notice Camille, give me a perception check at disadvantage. Well, fuck me. Four. <laughs> you don't see shit because you're short. Zadar, you notice that the two members of Pick throw the individual up there. Two things are readily apparent. One, that's a dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> two, that's a gnome. Okay, uh, this is not who I thought it was. <laughs> D12 against me? I think um okay but you said i recognized the hat correct mm -hmm. maybe she traded hats 
Uh, yeah, three. Hopefully you rolled a roll. We roll. Twelve. Two. <laughs> um, the two members of Pick throw the gnome. Does an 18 hit you? Hit me? Yeah. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, they throw the gnome in a general direction that just happens to correspond with you, and you take four hit points of kneecap damage. Uh, <laughs> and wow. the, the two members of pick, one of which is the one that recognized you and Camille, uh, he comes storming over, grabs the hat, and stuffs it into your chest. He goes, have you still not seen your friend yet? I said, well, it looks like it, but um, maybe we ought to question Sir Gnome how they how, how they get it. Okay. Uh, well, the gnome is at your feet. What do you want to do? I put my boot on him. I was just like, all right, talk. Where'd you get this? Here, you have boots on in your dress? <laughs> mm hmm I'm not in a dress. Oh, okay. yeah. Give me an intimidation check. Okay. Well, the fact I wore the hat. I so. changed Jessica Rabbit's uh, dress to leather <laughs> armor, red leather armor. Okay, so give an intimidation check. Uh, yeah, that was one. <laughs> uh, this I got is going so well. I got a 17. The gnome spits on your boot and asks for barrister. All right, I'm tired of waiting around back here. I take my oh, stick and start whacking my way to the front. Okay, you are up there with the two members of Pick who have stepped off. Yeah. So they don't care anymore. Okay, don't I'm going to try anymore. another intimidation check. Perception check? Perception check. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, wow. 13 for perception. Two. Uh, Camille, you're too busy doing uh, Grace Jones imitation from Conan the Destroyer and whacking everything that moves. Uh, Zadar, you hear and your balloon oh, is airship. taken off. Yep, it is taken off. It's going north towards the library. Uh, okay. The intimidation check You've already failed at once. Okay, badly. can I just ask him, like, yeah. dude, short person, a short person, where'd you get the hat? I found it. Where at? Because I'd like to have one. Take that one. I don't need it anymore. But where'd you find it at? Um, rolling down the street. Off a truck. <laughs> so that was the answer? How long ago? <laughs> it does look like... It looks like this hat, right? Except for there'll be a raven feather here, too. Hats yep. don't At some point, I'm going to add. This one was just blowing in the breeze. That's all I got to say. Give me my barrister. <coughs> oh, uh, I don't I'm have mean, anything to do with barristers. Yeah, he, we're he not starts the... screaming, I'm being repressed. I'm being repressed. My rights <laughs> are being taken advantage of. We're not taking You anywhere. sure are. <laughs> and, and the crowd's like, oh, hey, oh, he, he, asked for the, he asked for the barrister. Oh man, so I, it's just right, like we're not the cops. <laughs> Inside the hat band, it says Rosa oh. in it. Oh, I put my name in my clothes, so yep. <laughs> I guess. Do I find anything inside the hat? <laughs> Nothing inside the hat there. Time for a new hat there, Rocky. Other than <laughs> other than the two, a red feather, a raven feather, and I guess this thingy that holds it all together. Yeah, you guys recognize it's a band. it. This, this <coughs> looks like Rosa's hat. All right, yeah. I stick it on my head. Sure. Nice. Now you have head lice from the gnome. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Luis is from... No, he infested my hat! <laughs> How Maybe. rude. Well, yeah. Maybe not. Star, could you clean that up for me? <laughs> <laughs> Press Press the the Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, oh, out of my hair. Uh, it is now well past dinner time. <sighs> okay. And the crowd... Of course, being mostly gnomes is uh, questioning your interrogation method. Um, it <laughs> didn't go as far ask. as I was about to take it. <laughs> Crowd would have turned uglier. Yeah, yeah. And their charisma is not very good anyway. <laughs> it would have it would have turned pretty ugly. I was about to pull the scimitar. <laughs> nice. Uh, but there you go. That's what you got to work with right now. You found Rose's hat. 
Well, okay. I say if her hat's here, she's probably here somewhere. Yes. Whether so, she's still alive or not, we don't know. Yeah. I, Have we good. eaten or recovered or anything <laughs> today? No. You guys are still bloody and shit beat. Yeah. Uh, you can go back to your room or you can go get something to eat. Uh, uh, Whatever, so eating we can... would, would count as a short rest, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll just go grab something to eat. So sure. where do you want to go? Luigi's. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Where's we the, the name free of food? We're going for the free food. Yeah. The Pizza Hut. Yeah. 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 Go to the Pizza Hut. That's fair enough. Uh, yeah. You guys uh, get the Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. Have your meal on the house because you're fucking heroes. Uh, and give me perception checks. <laughs> Fourteen Ooh, this time. Okay. Uh, uh, Seventeen plus eight. So yeah. Um, uh, both of you notice. Uh, what is his fucking name? What's Phineas's dad's name? Oh, isn't it like Dieter or something? No, no, that's his grandfather. I don't remember. I've been watching too. I don't remember. Uh, for some reason, I don't have it listed on my sheet. Anyway, you see. It's him. You see Phineas's uh, father. Uh, he spots you. He comes into the Pizza Hut, uh, and he begins talking to you at a high rate of speed. Uh, <laughs> I have so much to tell you, so little time. We really must go. Besides, this place has bugs. Uh, that does not make the owner happy at all. Uh, do you want to get him calmed down or do you want to get out before luigi gets pissed uh, we tell uh, luigi we'll take care of it and i yeah grab yeah I, i'll out. grab a slice and <laughs> grab a couple other slices and head on out we'll, we'll we'll take care of this guy before he uh uses we'll, we'll uh, take care of him luigi. don't worry he won't say anything about this place anymore <laughs> okay as you guys get outside he's still highly agitated he says that phineas has sent you to see him Phineas was contacted by a friend of yours, uh, and he's also found your other friend. Which friend contacted him? Someone, someone called Rosa. Oh Lord, Lord have mercy. Okay, I, I would just oh, no, I just I, I'd so... avoid her if I were you. <laughs> I just ignore that one and go after more. We usually concerned. we usually try to avoid her. <laughs> I feel so loved right now. That's why we brought you on. Sadar's kidding. So. Uh, I'm not there. Yeah. I'm just concerned because it's like, okay, people, yeah. the awful people want to beat the crap out of her. and Yeah. I was about to skewer a no so, for Rosa. So. <laughs> so I take the hat off and I leave it on the table at Pizza Hut. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, fair enough. If we're going to find her, it's going to be very noticeable. Okay, I put it under my cloak. I have, a bag of, I have a bag of oh, holding. I, okay, I give it to Zadar. Can you hold on to this for me? Let's see what Phineas's dad says. Rosa found Phineas uh, and was told that you guys were in town. She's looking for you. She wants to hang out. She's at the bodega. The bodega. Oh, it's a restaurant uh, on the south side of town. Boy, this place has got a lot of restaurants. That's awesome. Okay. Gotta eat. Gotta eat yep. in the big city. Uh, this uh, he gives you the description, and this would be in the area where you saw the gnome being chased by the order of pick. Okay. Okay. So, so there's that. Oh, and he found Mortimer. Okay, that was my next question. Who was this other person? And Mortimer apparently flew in uh, and was at Dirigible did. Farms earlier. So, do we know where Mortimer's at now? Earlier, he was at Dirigible Farm. Uh, okay. That's how far away is Dirigible Farm from the bodega? Opposite? No. Actually, they're fairly close together. Oh, okay. Uh, give me okay. my annotation. Give me my stamp. Uh, clearly, Dirigible Farms is here. Mm -hmm. The bodega is right here. Okay. So, and we are... You guys, we're uh, over of here. Of course, we are. Yeah. So, so you have a decision to make. Okay. Oh, huh. Um. I say we sure. go get Rosa first. 
Yes. Because we know where she's waiting for us, and then we can head toward dirigible farms. <clears throat> right. Correct. Right. That, that will work. Um, you guys make your way through there, and of course, uh, any guesses as to who you meet on the way there? More picks. Nope, not this time. Uh, okay. It's a holy man. <laughs> Deacon Jones. Deacon Jones, okay. Uh, he looks at you, gives you a scowl of derision, uh, doesn't care, uh, and points out that he heard you destroyed most of the guards in town. You're an asshole, you know that. Not a most good trick. of them. <laughs> a few. Nathan loves me, though. Mm. He'd love me, won't he? That's, that's what you get for being a cock blocker. Uh, <laughs> you, weave, you weave around the corner. Uh, can you <coughs> D12 against me? Me? Yep. Seven. You do not meet the order of pick members who are still scouring the region, and you get to a place called the Bodega. Okay. It appears to be a restaurant of some sort. Okay, we so we, we kind of hanging scan. outside. Do we have to yeah. go inside? Got to go inside. No, but right. there, there's people back and forth, and okay. uh, darkness has started to fall. Oh, okay, we'll, yeah, we'll let's go work our way in. Yeah. Uh, you get in there and you notice something unusual. It has more of a Turkish design. Uh, there are several tables right in the middle of the structure, but there are booths with curtains masking the entrances. Oh, well, this is just great. Right. Uh, an individual in a fez uh, comes up and hands you both menus. Uh, they are written in a rather pretty script. Uh you do not recognize any of the items on the menu. Uh, we are here looking for a friend of ours. Uh, is there? I a... could be your friend. Uh, well, thank well, you. Well, of course you can. Depending on how much you tip, I could be a very good friend. Okay. okay. Well, we are looking for a female friend of ours. Mm, I see. <laughs> in my home country, that is not allowed. But um, here, in the, here in the no raven hair. <laughs> Raven hair. Oh, Raven hair. It's just strictly platonic. Okay. Doesn't doesn't no have to be. It. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> and uh, also, is, can you what, help us with the menu when when you're finished? <laughs> what is a raven hair? Feathers? Does she have um, feathers very in her Dark head? hair. Black. Evan, dark black hair. Oh. This is not black enough. Oh. <clears throat> I believe her friend is in that alcove over there. Wow. The order of pick couldn't find me. <laughs> but this guy can. Oh, order of pick wasn't looking for you here. That's too funny. Okay. So I scan over to where he pointed. It's a booth with a heavy carpet over the entrance. Mm. Okay. Um, I say, excuse me for a moment. So I get up and I walk to the booth with the alcove with the curtain and I knock on the booth. <laughs> Hello. You hear a dusky femme fatale voice uh, bid you entrance. Okay. She she opens the curtains. And it, it, it's, a, it's a taller individual. Uh, <laughs> there's just one tiny candlelight uh, that's burned down on the desk. So you can only see a rough outline of features. Uh, the individual is dressed in what would be described as flashy clothing. Uh, and she has a deep, husky voice. Come in, let Madame Zorba read your palm. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> okay, this is the wrong booth, but <laughs> sure. Does she have uh, uh, raven black hair? Oh, yeah. Very long, very black. Okay. Ah, uh, Zadar sits into the booth. Uh, presents her her palm and puts a gold piece on, on the on the counter and says i'm looking for a friend <laughs> what can what can you tell me about her not that kind of friend <laughs> what, what specify roll for hotness uh, on the the palm reader Absorba has an 18 charisma oh 
Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> What's fun? Now, not all of that is physical beauty. She has the alluring, dusky femme fatale. You know. Right, right. But, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, outside in the main thing, uh, Camille. Um, I'm asking uh, the guy, so what's good on this menu? Oh, everything. Everything is good. Everything. Well, what do you like? What is your favorite food? We've got cheese. It. Never heard of it. We don't have any of cheese. <laughs> what? You had a no cheese, cheese festival in this town. I know. Uh, we had to supply a great deal of cheese. We did not get it back. It's uh, it, uh, it was did you bad. really want it back? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> give me a perception check, Camille. Eleven. You hear? I look towards. I hear that. Psst. Give me another perception check. He's under the table. <laughs> Sixteen. Uh, you see a finger out of a curtain. Like Oppos this kind of finger? Yeah, op opposite of where Zadar went in. Who okay. is, is strangely taking a long time here. <laughs> He's probably whacking off again. Sure. sure. I'll go see sure. what's going on. <laughs> uh, Zadar, she takes the gold piece, uh, asks you to take hold of her hands so that she can go ahead and read the hypnotic patterns from you. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> she just casts hypnotic pattern or? Nope. Just uh, That's just her pitch. Oh, okay. All right. Puts her hands out. You go ahead and take a hold of them. Give me an insight mm -hmm. check. Yeah, I, I play along with it since I don't know that Camille got, got away. I say, the friend I seek, someone from my past. Raven-haired, sure. being pursued. <clears throat> uh, go ahead and give me a perception or an insight check. Okay. All right. Yeah, that would be a one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, she speaks. Uh, she flutters her eyes, thinks, thinks, thinks. Oh, oh, yes, I see it now. Uh, uh, a strapping pirate. Am I, am I correct? Strapping? Uh, strapping could, could be a term for. <laughs> yes, you will find him at the docks. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Very well. What do you well, got? In, what, do you got what, what do you have in the bag of holding? Uh, what do I have in the bag of holding so far? Uh, Mortimer's medallion and Rose's hat. So, okay. okay. Cool. Uh, oh, Madame, Zorba, Madame Zorba has given you her opinion. She better not be trying to pick your bag of holding. Her. He got, her. He got a one on insight. Guess what yeah. just happened? Damn it. <laughs> I, because inside. he rolled so low, only one of her hands was That's real. That's what I fucking feared. <laughs> the other yeah, one was yeah. a mannequin. And unless she knows what to look for, she's not going to be able to produce anything out of the, the bag of holding. That's how bag of holdings work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> unless you turn it upside down. Mm -hmm. you know. So, Or pull everything out. <laughs> well, so, unless you know what to, to reach for, you're not going to find it. You know. So... Um, Okay. Uh, well, I thank her for the uh, the reading, and uh, I think I should uh, try to pursue my friend. You know. Very good. You are a charmer. <laughs> and uh, other and side of the room, you are too. Oh, <laughs> so other I head side... on out. Okay. Other side of the room, Camille. You go in where the finger is at. You see Rosas. Sitting at the table eating some kind of pasta ish thing that smells like intestines and probably oh. has the texture of a boot. Oh, come but, on. But, I forgot to eat that. But it's very good. Okay, guess... maybe I can eat that. Maybe it's some. Um, it's like monster squid or something. She's been out on the sea. She's been living off calamari for God's sake. Ugh, She'll eat anything. I was wondering if this was calamari. I yeah. mean, anyway, I say, what are you doing here? Everybody is looking for you. Oh my God. Shh. You know, anyone was looking for me until this morning. Wait, this afternoon? Is that when I got chased? That wasn't you. Oh, it wasn't me. No, it was a gnome. Wait, I don't. Hold on. Do you I got take your hand? 
You got your hat picked by a gnome. That the backstory I gave you is the only thing you know. You have right, no right, idea right, right, right. Okay, so I don't even know I'm being chased yet either. So nope. lost okay. your hat. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Um, do you remember the pics from Cacophony? Oh yeah. The assholes. Yeah, they're here and they yeah. keep looking for you. What? Wait. <laughs> what? Did you do something? Um, I've done lots of things since Re I last recently? saw you. <laughs> Involving picks? <laughs> Not involving picks. Somebody could hire them. I've been here and there, and uh, let's see. Well, I found <clears> a <throat> hat anyway. Oh, that's that's good. Uh, this feels stupid. Oh, come on! You got to leave it on for the show. I will leave it. No, oh, I'll leave it on. It back. If I get it back. Okay. I feel stupid wearing it when it's. Well, maybe you have it, although it'd be awfully hard to pick a hat. Who doesn't have it? <laughs> <coughs> no, I've been here and there, and I mean, I am a pirate. It's possible somebody got pissed off. It's something I did. Hmm. Let me go uh, out and see if I can find a I've mostly, I've mostly been shuttling people around. Zadar, you come out of Madame Zorba's alcove and notice... Great. <laughs> Where'd my partner go? And uh, I'm not yeah. exactly being quiet since I don't know. Well, up until now, I didn't know I was being hunted, so it wasn't exactly being hush hush. Well, yeah. you, you chose the private booth for a reason. You like your privacy. I Give do. me a perception check, Zadar. Okay. Wait, where's your? Yeah, where's your? Okay. Where's your partner? Perception nineteen. <laughs> Uh, Colonel Clank is in the bodega. Oh. Uh, but I see Colonel <clears throat> Clank. Camille does it. Correct. Camille okay. and Rosa are in the closet. Okay. I, uh, since I don't see her, I go to Colonel Clank. That is Clank. more funny than you realize. <laughs> Colonel y Clank. Y'all play in that game, huh? <laughs> 30 seconds in a closet. That's right. Eight, eight sure. minutes in heaven. Uh, Colonel Plank points out to you, and you notice that he, he's yeah, still not right. Still, still a little off. Uh, he points out, and uh, he says that the Warforged have returned to functional order, and the commandos have been recalled. Uh, oh, um, your friend uh, was released earlier. Friend. Yes. Got a lot of those. Mm. Which friend would that be? Oh, sorry, I'm not there. Could you be more specific, Colonel? <laughs> Espinoza. Raleigh Espinoza. Is Raleigh released. Espinoza. Okay, they didn't find any anything suspicious about him, or uh, his uh, wife or girlfriend dropped the charges. Ah, uh, dropped the charges. Okay. All right. The pair have been released. Okay. okay. Uh, that's good to know, Colonel. Um, Dean. Hmm need for us to check in with us or no i was going to let you know because of your heroics earlier uh i have been reassigned so i just happen to be in the area searching for a, a gnome that was severely beaten okay um should anything come up i'll come look for you colonel <laughs> great thank you uh, Thank you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> nice. Uh, you can now hear Rosa and uh, Camille talking. Oh, I you heard You aren't high elves. That voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just about this level of voice It's for like me. It's like Beaker. Yeah. As, as Camille pulls aside the carpet to come look for you, you see her and Rosa in the booth. Colonel Clank wanders off, having not seen any half beaten to death gnome in this room okay uh <laughs> get over here <laughs> all right so uh yeah I, i'm like <clears throat> point and i head my way over to camille hold your breath it stinks in here she is eating cat food but and it's really she, good she takes, she takes just a little bit in it's and goes very strange <laughs> oh oh yeah, it doesn't uh, smell great, but apparently she likes it. It, it, it tastes good. It's. You want to try some? Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> we just ate, actually. 
Oh, okay. So keep yeah. eating. Go. Hi, Zadar. Zadar? I don't well, remember if I saw you like this before. Funny meeting you here. What are you doing in Nathan? Um, uh, oh, I was here we were with a, a gnomish partner and we are working on something. She's what are you gnomish. guys doing here? A gnomish partner? Yeah. My um, like partner is in lover? No. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, it wasn't that little <clears throat> asshole that I assaulted earlier, huh? <laughs> They had uh, your hat. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. There's a lot of gnomes Could you in this give town. her a hat back? Do you have your bag of holding? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I reached for the bag of holding. How many coins did you have in your coin purse? Oh, Past my coin purse? <laughs> uh, uh, well, you have less now. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously less. Let me check to see. Because I was going to take the I... bag of holding. <laughs> uh la 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 let's see inventory i think uh that coin purse i probably had 20 pieces of gold left in it get, give me a percentage roll since oh. you do that so well wow get, you've got get... like no oh, there's more it's in it's in the bag of holding yeah um, ah. they keep most of the good stuff in the bag no of that's no that makes sense uh, you know what i don't know idea how much gold i have actually right now <laughs> All right, you, you have enough to live on. You're doing, you're, you're flush. All right, we'll uh, you, that. you lose about four gold pieces. Okay, all right. So, I don't know, uh, should we give her a hat back? I mean, the pigs know what it well, looks like. Well, I would like my hat back. Uh, you probably should And I'd it, like though. to know what you know about this pig situation. I can't even talk, Jeez. Well, well that, that's, when the, that's when the defense grabs an interception and runs it into the end zone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I need. I think I need more alcohol. Well, I let can't me talk. More let me bring you up to speed. You have been implicated in an assassination attempt. Oh, that's right. What? Yes, that's why they are looking for you. The bird guy. Is it? And also, yes, there's another faction that's looking for you <coughs> too. Well, they don't know you I'm okay. specifically, but they're they're looking for the assailant that uh, shot their cleric. Why would they With think a crossbow just... that resembles yours quite a mine. bit. Mine. That's a blue jay. I mean, mine looks like this, and it's just like a plain tan crossbow. Okay. It's no not a black lacquer no? crossbow with uh, it an does R not... in, on the Who bottom. did I supposedly assass try to assassinate? And did I, I did not succeed, right? President Kennedy. Oh, you, you Prince, the shot landed. Oh, Prince, Prince Kennedy. Prince Kennedy. Prince, oh, wait, his name really was Kennedy? Yeah. It's Prince Kennedy. Yeah. From the grassy knoll. Yeah. Mm. Actually, the shot came from a war. The shot, yeah, it came from the. <laughs> Do the, I know who this Prince Kennedy is? Not a clue. Mm -hmm. I would have this total dumb look. But I thought Do they you would have a pick... beef with, with Eric Akra? Me? No. Why would I have a beef with Eric Akra? Okay. Oh, well, that's who. I don't Prince have Kennedy a beef is. with anybody, particular in terms of a racial thing. I mean, except Tabaxi. I understand. Both no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. See, in the other version of this character, she's actually in love with a Capro, which is a Tabaxi. So, no, no. In fact, I would have brought that character into this game as an mm -hmm. NPC, but me. I don't want to shut up. No, you're, you're a racist Tabaxi. Hater I am not one. a racist Tabaxi <laughs> hater. So, uh, what the hell is going on? Wait, wait. So, I yeah. thought the sorry, uh, Carol question. I thought the order pick was looking at it for her before the assassination happened. They were, mm -hmm. so it's not, yeah, I didn't think it was the same thing, but that's Carol knowledge, not Rosa knowledge. She's like all right. sorts of confused. She, you could tell that's, she's that's somewhat the Carol knowledge because, <laughs> right, right, you, you are 100% <laughs> right. Right. Carol well, don't really they, know shit. I didn't call you out by name when I saw the the crossbow because I wasn't a hundred percent sure. But the damage looked I mean the evidence looked uh, steering in your direction. So did but they, they, we, we have the, other we have oh. other leads of who this assailant could possibly be. Do the uh, 
authorities think it's me and just haven't found me? Not specifically. The so far, so far, it's just the order of pick. Hell, we uh, were in jail for a while. There you go. Why yeah. were you in jail? Because we were implicated. Because <laughs> I decided to talk to him that day. That is an awful, disturbing lack of evidence to hold someone for. The shot came from directly the shot behind came. them. <laughs> that does not matter. Supposedly, we held we, we we held up their little procession, and that's when the shot was fired. So so you can see how we were. I, mean, I guess they were implicated as accessories to the crime. Yes. Hmm. So that's what's been going on with us. <laughs> Rosa, D12 against me. What about Mortimer J. Sneed? I think, I believe I He's saw dying. him. Wait, who am I rolling? Who was rolling that? Rosa's rolling it. I thought so. All right. <laughs> Four. Two. Uh, ah. No new patrons. Uh, let me check something on my notes here because I thought I said... Da, 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 da. Mortimer's trying to die on us. I did run into Mortimer J. Sneed. That's what I wanted to know. I saw him yesterday. Uh, he looks he is, what, he, what's wrong with him? He has yeah, time travel sickness. Yes. That's, it doesn't look good. Time travel is finally catching up to him. Wow, this whole episode is like a, a year-long wrap-up of things. It is. It is. <laughs> We're wrapping everything up. That's so, uh, Hi, Kitty. So, yeah. So that's what's up with Mortimer. You say you saw him. Where did you see him? Where did I see him? You didn't put that detail. On the streets. Just out and about. Two streets up that way. Okay. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that was yesterday. He could be anywhere now. Unfortunately. Sorry, I cannot help. Zadar and D12. <coughs> Nine. Did I did I hand her her hat back? Yeah, did you hand me my hat back so I can put it back on? I think so. So you can stop complaining that I don't have my hat on. Uh, that's uh, really this nice. feels much better. A what? Uh, insight check, Zadar and Camille. Insight, insight. Okay. Uh, eh, it's eh, 14. 16. That is not terrible. Horses outside the carpet uh, seem very familiar to you, but you can't, you just can't place it. Male or female? Uh, male, you think? Wow, that doesn't sound good. I kind of put the gonna, curtain to the side and like put my I, face up to it. And I'm, to I'm continuing to talk because I don't hear this. Sure. No, I'll be no. like, so you guys have no idea why the order of pick would be after me? Cleet uh, Hamoud, uh, the owner of the bodega, is currently talking to somebody uh, tall. Somebody is you, tall. Is all you can see. Okay. Okay. I don't recognize the person that they're talking to, right? You cannot see them. You have to stick your head out to see them. Okay. All right. Um, sorry, distracted. I saw, I thought I heard somebody familiar outside. Who? That's familiar to me, I guess. I, I couldn't see. So, I mean, so for me to properly check, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to step outside and take a look. So, so okay. Zadar, Zadar will do that. He'll, she'll push the curtain open. You know, not not exposing too much what's inside. Sure, D twelve against me. Okay. Well, I kind of hunker down now that I know I'm being hunted. Sure. Six. Can I make a stealth check, by the way? Sure, go ahead. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, stealth is uh, that is a seventeen. You kind of scooch back to the back of the table, uh, hiding in the shadows. Uh, Zadar, you open up the curtain, and there, right in front of you, clearly ready to come into the area, 
is a large avian creature you recognize as Blue Jay. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, fancy and, meeting you here. And yeah, I round up on him. <laughs> I stick my head out and I say, "Where's the boy with the menu? I am hungry." <laughs> I take it. I take it you're here for the cuisine. I was going to secure a room, but apparently this one is occupado. Uh, you now notice that there are two cardinals with him as well. Uh, you, you guys, guys rec- mix, huh? <laughs> you, well, you guys recognize him from the retinue. You do not see Prince Kennedy here. Oh, good. I've got a red feather. <laughs> I uh, I point to the booth that I came out of with the palm reader. I said, I believe that booth may be available. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, You're quite welcome. They walk over, open it up. She's she's gone, huh? She's gone. Oh okay. yeah, she got her money and ran. She, yeah, that's what I figured. That's why I pointed to it. Since you're looking out, uh, and Rose is hidden, Camille, give me a perception check. My best roll of the night, seventeen. Uh, you and Zadar both notice a small waif-like child enter the establishment and seek out Cleet Hamoud. Uh, He seems to recognize the child. Uh, And points directly at Zadar. Uh, I noticed the, okay, so I regard the child. (laughs) Uh, The child comes over, Uh, not, not, murder hobo-ish, but, you know, a street kid, uh, mm. comes over, kind of looks into the Grab booth. Your shit. <laughs> looks into the booth. Uh, Rosa's hiding with a 17. Yeah. Uh, if, 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 he, if he makes a perception check and beats it, I'd say he could see the feather. <laughs> Nat 20. Oh, no, no! He definitely uh, sees the feather popping up from behind the table. <laughs> withdraws a piece of parchment Shit. and extends it past Zadar towards Rosa. How the fuck did he know she was in there? I don't know. Maybe the feather gave it away. <laughs> I, this is for me. But the my mood shouldn't know she's yeah, there. You you are Rosa, right? I am Rosa. This the is Raven. for you. Uh, and uh, I hold up. Now uh, open it up. Uh, a coin piece for the the child, and I said, "Who did this message come from?" You notice that you're shy to come more coins at this point in time. Oh, is the kid. No, you. Uh, no, you are sharing you, a couple of coins from, from her. From Madame Zorba. Yeah, the kid didn't I, I pick knew your that. Pocket. And that I knew. <laughs> yeah. uh, so. she, she says a man and a raven. A, a man a and a raven. raven? Interesting. Oh, interesting. I read the, I'm going to open that and read it. The note says, Rosa, uh, we have Appleby Ponderosa. <laughs> you need to beat <laughs> us at Dirigible Farms at midnight. Shit. You hear, you hear her say, literally, for shit. That's the only thing the note says. Um, <laughs> I, Who did I, you say? I turn, I turn I, on I literally Rosa. get, well, wait, I don't, problem? didn't, hold on, hold on, I did not read that aloud, guys. You just hear me say shit. Okay, and I turn around and I say, problem? <laughs> yeah, possibly. Uh, this is not good. Um, who did I? Well, I will sit up now and I'll look at the kid. I'm like, who did you say sent this note? Oh, uh, kid's gone. Kid's oh, gone. Sorry, I said a man with you... a raven. Yeah, anybody who gets paid by you fuckers is gone. It's gone. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a man. Uh, tell, wait, a man yeah. with a raven. A man with a rate like a raven on his shoulder. Like a raven. Well, that's in. Any? Uh, does that ring any bells to me? Not no, you, you you haven't dealt with any Arakakra. You haven't dealt with any ravens. Well, 
I mean, it could be a pet raven that's like this big. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, where you got the feather. Well, then I would know who it is. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that plucked raven's pissed. Once I was gonna tail say, feather yeah, it's looking for and it. And the plucked cardinal is probably pissed too. I mean, <laughs> the raven's like standing outside. <laughs> I have so, no yeah. idea. Yeah, you have zero idea. Yeah. But the child meant an actual raven, not an aracocra. Right? Species, right? We don't oh. know. Sure. Okay. It could be either or. Okay. It could be a minor bird. It's a kid. These kids are. <laughs> it could be yeah. Minor. It's not reliable. <laughs> you know that. Midnight, huh? All right. So, so what's going on at the Ritual Forms? I didn't say that either, dude. I'm going to tell you all now. So all right. basically, that's what I thought. Stop you jumping the gun. Um, <laughs> I knew I sh I knew I should have messaged it. That's yeah. okay. That's okay. We're all just excited. So um, what's going on? Well, apparently somebody has taken a friend of mine, and I'm to meet them at Dirigible Farms at midnight. And what's your friend's name? Uh, his Ten name guesses is... who took them. Uh, it could be You're the, could only be... gonna need one. You mean order a pick? Well, you said this more than one that people are trying to find me. Uh, it could be those. If those birds think I wait, did I figure? Did I know Kennedy was like you a have bird? Not been called nope. out by name with them. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Well, was like an Applebee Ponderosa. Wow. This is his name. Is this a restaurant? <laughs> It sounds like I know, right? I was about to say, there's no two Denny restaurants. <laughs> he has Denny's his brother. Uh, uh, they Jesus. are salami dealers. Uh, Denny's Bonanza. <laughs> that was the other <laughs> restaurant right. that was like. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, man. So Apple wants... Bee Ponderosa has been captured. Somebody wants me, apparently. And you guys really have no idea why. They didn't. They wouldn't tell order you you didn't ask did not, no. why they order pick. What's nope, the they were just trying to intimidate us the whole time. Yeah. Didn't work. <laughs> it's so funny because I've been in town for a number of days and I have not come across them. I haven't exactly been really hiding either. I guess I just got lucky. So what time is it? What time Insight is it? Insight check on Rosa. <laughs> sure. Go All ahead, Ed. Okay. Eight eight o'clock. Okay. Yeah, uh, not very insightful. Ten. <laughs> I mean, she's telling the truth, as far as you know. She jumps I'm in. I'm like, no come shit. on. If you have not been deliberately hiding, and the order of pick oh. cannot find you, they have been scouring the city. And this is the first moment I have heard that they were looking for me. I swear to God, I did not know they were looking for me. Well, not so much them, but are you here on? Uh, I don't know, clandestine business or something? Not really. I mean, we are creating something that is going to help me mm -hmm. never be lost at sea. That is it. Okay. We came here. Sounds interesting. With Applebee. Hmm. So I have, I, I literally have no idea That's what I possibly could have done oh, to piss somebody off to send an entire order of assassins after me. Tell us about this friend of yours. Applebee's. Applebee. <laughs> Applebee. I, I don't know, Frank. I, I, I only get, basically, I got a pretty good detailed backstory of what the hell Rose has been doing, but I didn't get a lot of details like what do I know about App other than the fact he is, uh, he is good at tinkering with things and such. He is a tinkerer by trade. He, he helped you repair the ship that's uh, true. when it crashed. Uh, I don't tell him that. You crashed my ship? <laughs> what do you mean your ship? It's my ship. Hey, we gave it to you. <laughs> That's right. So it is my ship. <laughs> okay. You gave it away. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah he, the, the, he, there was a. He's been with was... you for quite a while. Okay, so anyway, what are you going to do until midnight when you got to go to Dirigible Farms? <laughs> did you mention that? Guess. <laughs> yeah, I did. You did mention midnight. Yes, I did. Okay. I said midnight to Ridgeville Farms, and I have a friend of mine. So that means somebody wants wants me for sure. I will definitely show up. We got four hours to kill. We still need to find Mortimer. That we do. So um, we can. I can help you find Mortimer. You didn't. 
to be fair, you are not involved in whatever this whole fucking bullshit that I'm involved in apparently is. Well, you're going to have to have some kind of disguise. Why have you known us to be up to really any shenanigans? Because shit just happens to us. Oh, you're talking about right now. Uh, You're not talking about four hours from now, midnight, when I'm going to go there. We're we're leafs on the wind. Shit just happens. Yeah, and then we get stabbed in the chest. Oh, uh, here's here's my disguise. I'll just take off my hat. They'll never recognize me. (laughs) Put some glasses on. Pew pew. There you go. Oh, oh wait, I do, of course, have because I can't see shit. How, how tall is Rosa? Is Rosa a human? Rosa is a human. Okay. How tall? Which is probably about six uh, six feet. Dang. Okay. When Gina, Zadar, water? when Zadar shifts, uh, changelings can change their height. So. Not Are you gonna much. become not me? very much? No, but but I mean within a a foot or so. so. Are you gonna become me? Don't don't become me. If it me. comes to it, I, I will. Throw no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do don't do that. Listen, I really don't want to involve you in whatever the fuck I'm involved in. And I don't even know what the fuck I'm involved in. You don't know what I'm thinking. I may want to just assume your identity. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> No, I mean shoot. permanently at this point. <laughs> you do not want to do. If I die, I guess you can do that. But you do not want to. Do exactly, that. that's on the back burner. So <laughs> many people are hunting me. You do not want to do that. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So you have no clue while you're being hunted. You got a f- mysterious friend that has been apprehended and is being held at. Not really mysterious. Form. He's just he's a gnome that that's sailed all. with me for a while and can fix my ship when it got kind of wrecked in a storm okay okay again camille starts whacking her thing on the ground so what the fuck are we doing now well i assume you want to go look for your mortimer yeah but what are you gonna do I'm well, going, the, the last, I can go with you if you want. The last known location that we've had of Mortimer is towards the Ritual Farm, so we can leave early and we can search Skulk for him along way. the way. Yes. Maybe we can try to get to the Ritual Farms a little early and skulk out the scene and see. Maybe we can catch anything. them. Um, we can rescue your friend. Yes. So what do you want to do? Well, let's head to Dirigible Farms. Sure. We'll see if we can find Mortimer along the way. Right, we Weezer. Are here. It's We're not there. going that far, I don't think. Nope, just a couple blocks. Uh, <clears throat> do you want to take the street or surreptitiously move about the shadows? Yeah, we need to shadow the shadows. Stuff. Fair enough. Everybody give me stealth. Anybody have any spells to help with stealth? Like uh, Pass Without a Trace? I don't know what you guys have. What do you think? Am I a druid? No. I do not know. That would be good. Makes sense. Well, I got 23. But I did pretty well. Uh, That classifies as a short rest for you guys, too. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, What was I rolling for? Perception? Stealth. Stealth. Stealth? Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, 29. Uh, my stealth is 18. Uh, you guys are all pretty stealthy, but you're exceptionally careful about it, so it's going to slow you down. Uh, as you cut across this triangular region, uh, you come into contact with another restaurant. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you will recognize this location. Uh, where you have met uh, Phineas before and his father and his pseudo clandestine kind of girlfriend. Is uh, it the Cabbage Patch? No, the Cabbage Patch is over here. Oh, okay. This Sorry. one is the uh, other one. Uh, actually, I think that's where you also met with uh, Zeppelin. If I'm not mistaken, I believe so. I think so. I believe so. <laughs> As you guys pass by, you notice a lot of foot traffic of mixed races, uh, including Zeppelin Smith outside with a friend of yours. There's lots of those. I've, I'm getting that feeling. Lots of friends. The, uh, you guys want to going... tell her who it is? Which, which friend? 
Is it Aerosmith? It is Aerosmith because yeah. it is Phineas is, or I'm sorry, uh, Zeppelin is his uncle. I do watch this show. Nice. I was going to say, as we were walking along, I'm like, so what have you two been up to all this time? Who are you? Oh, I'm talking to them, but uh, I... Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I guess we should make um, the introductions. Is... We should, uh, I, I, am, I am Lady Blackthorn. Mm. How, how do you do? That's not the name you used to go by. Uh, says Aerosmith. Uh, Aerosmith introduces you as this is one of the best pirates in Cacophony. Uh, you. Everybody, give me an insight check. Uh, well, you see, Aerosmith. Could you, could you reduce close the 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 map, Frank? Because sure. I, I can't can't see my sheet. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Okay. You can exit full screen. <laughs> what do, what what check are we making? I'm sorry. Insight. Insight. Me. That's not a great rule. That is only a nine. Uh, five. Fifteen. Camille, uh, you notice that Zeppelin appears perplexed. Well, we've got a little history going on here, so don't mind us. No, someone was looking for her. Yes, I know. That is why I'm going by Lady Blackthorn at the moment. Were they the pigs? Fine, Lady... Mm, well, they were monkish. The they were monkish? Look, yeah, oh, I'm Lord. sure. Yeah, okay. That is why I we're went aware. by Lady Blackthorn. I'm trying to keep a low profile here. Yeah, Aerosmith. With this outrageous hat. A Aerosmith wasn't aware that you were trying to be shy about that. Uh, yeah, he, he says that uh, the monks were kind of obtrusive and he had to throw them out of zeppelin farms did they or say the dirigible farms wait 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 when earlier today did they have a, a gnome with them that didn't um, look like he wanted to be there just three uh humans mm. they're planning to return i got a note saying to come back here at midnight they have a friend of mine uh we're close didn't seem to stop us it doesn't seem to stop them they said to I, come here. I would really prefer that you guys not wander around my place of business late at night if you'd like we can go there now and await your friends uh they're not going to show up until midnight that's okay we can get there early no and I'm, I'm okay with getting them early but they're not going to show up until sometime probably right before midnight right which means it is going to be late tonight when we are fucking around the grounds but you don't know how hazardous dirigible farms are yeah shit explodes uh, I, heard that. I do believe i heard that right who, so, who wants to be 20 for me i will go ahead uh, why do we it uh Uncle, I am far too tired to stay up, and I have uh... somebody to go to bed with. He, he has he has stuff to do. Yes, uh, he's uh... yeah okay. So uh, he excuses himself, uh, and then Zeppelin wants to know why he should allow you guys into his place of business when it's going to be locked up and nobody's because... going to be there at midnight. Because somebody is going to be there, and they have a friend of mine that they've captured. And if we go early, we might be able to ambush them. It is and we, which we're means thinking. we could keep your property from getting destroyed. <laughs> we will Persuade try. me. He likes the part about not getting shit destroyed. See. I like that part too. Are you 13. still testing bladders there? Um. Uh, not today. Uh, I do suppose that I owe you guys a little leniency. I, I will take you there right now, uh, and you can wait outside the gate. Thank you. Very well. I think we want to hide. I, hide. Let's not push <laughs> our luck. <laughs> I don't uh, 
You don't want you don't want to hide or, Well, yeah, I want to hide. We ambush them. Oh, I see. Do you guys want to continue to go through the, the crevices, the alleyways, and shit like that? If we have uh, to go. Zadar reaches out and casts uh, invisibility on Rosa. <laughs> there we go. That works. Yeah. So now we can walk freely. <laughs> I'm right here. He just made so that I cannot be seen. You guys cut across the alley, get to the next major street. Going to be perception rolls. <laughs> ah, sixteen. Eight plus perception. Oh, actually, my perception is pretty good. So that does a Nine. fifteen. Nineteen for Zadar. Not terrible. Uh, Zadar, as you guys begin to cut across the street, you are met with a nineteen as well. Order of pick. <sighs> Find your friend yet? Have you? <laughs> Still looking. Yeah. Sooner or so later, we. she will turn up. I said, so are we. We're not here <laughs> to look for her. We're here to do a research for another friend of ours. Yeah. If that's the friend you're referring to. Studying Have you seen a, a wild-haired man looking like death and absolutely crazy? D12 against me. Okay. Nine. Uh, 11. A dude a human? named Mortimer? Yes, Professor Sneed. Yes, we're looking yes. for him. He went that way. <sighs> Points in the opposite direction. When was this? An hour ago. God, he's an asshole. I think he was with a... No. Probably. Did he have his pants on? Yes. Thank God. <laughs> I don't laugh. <clears throat> and for the for the record, just to make sure I didn't make any noise, I rolled pretty good on stealth, so I rolled I felt, fifteen. <clears throat> so we've been running into each other like this. Why are you looking for Rosa? I've never plainly come out and asked. I mean, no, you haven't. Yeah. She is we, now. What is she we, accused of? We believe that there is some employment improprieties going on. Employment in improprieties? Can you be more specific? No. Is she employed okay. by you? How can she, we help? <laughs> she is not. You may find her. I mean, is she in danger or you just want to find out who she's employed by? We merely want to speak with her. <laughs> yeah, I know how you're speaking. <laughs> spoke with you before. And I will say, <clears throat> how that ended for the last Inquisitor, you don't want to happen to have it again. Is there Are only you... one guy here? Right Two. now. Are you one? threatening me? No. No. But I know your interrogation techniques, and I mean, if this is a friend and I find out, then we'll, we'll have to intervene. I want to fucking... As you wish. So. If you run into your friend, we would still like to speak with her. Okay. What would Basically, you like what I'm her? saying is, help me, and I will help you. You haven't helped me yet. What would you like us to tell her? Yes. Oh, to meet me in front of the Grand Library tomorrow at noon. Okay. If we find her? This employer employment thing, does it involve a noun? No. Okay. Is this a deal that is, is this a deal that went sour? <laughs> Did she like throw your cargo into the ocean? Have a good evening, my friends. <laughs> I have um, a lot of questions. <laughs> and, oh my god, that's he, so good. I start noting, walking after him. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, he's going oh. into the alley where you guys just exited. Okay. Oh, I, oh, so my plan yeah. worked. I chased him Look, off. Look, I'm studying <laughs> HR. I can help you with this. <laughs> Maybe it should have just come out to him. There's only one of them. I'm gay. Oh, <laughs> <the other guy. laughs> yeah. Well, wait. You guys have 
You guys have no <laughs> idea how friggin' appropriate this is with this character with all these claws uh, and too. So anyway. <laughs> Zeppelin is Okay, uh yes, we're heading we're heading to Dirigible Farms. So we've that dealt with them a, before. They're that, very so that yeah, was a as, diversion that we needed to take care of. So as we're walking we're away, I go, now. you know, guys, maybe I should have outed myself. Oh, just shut up. Oh, shut up. Well, we still we still have your friend to deal with. <laughs> there was only don't take one. any sudden actions. <laughs> but the thing, there was only one of them. And if they really only wanted to talk, yeah. they could have done that. Do yeah. they ever really want to talk? Don't believe <laughs> Rosa, hey, wait, inside check, never, inside uh, check. Oh, no, I, I to totally say. believe. I rolled a one on an inside uh, check of that asshole. And, I totally believe they just want to talk. And uh, honestly, do you believe that it was only just one? Because, <laughs> you know, there's only just three of us here. You know what? The reason why I did, the reason why it is, I don't really want to implicate you two. We've already been out- implicated, so <laughs> no, I don't. Tough, they don't, tough crackers. <laughs> they they don't seem to know that I'm actually. You've actually found me. You know, they know that. Well, yeah, they, they know, know that we were together, together in the past. We're yeah. already associates. It doesn't matter. We've uh, been implicated with you, so yeah, but, it's but just if you, like, they would have turned the screws. I think a lot more if they actually thought I was with you. Well, I'm not just talking about the anyway, order of I'm talking I'm about them. About... Hello. We're walking. Yes. We're walking. We're walking. As we talk. Yeah, we're walking. We're talking anyways. As you arrive at the Ridgeable Farm, you come towards the center of the stadium. You can go left or right. Right, as you well know, took you into the Asiago Fest. Mm. Uh, you also <laughs> understand that there was another exit on the far side, so... Entering the stadium uh, is a north-south preposition. So you can go right where you used to, where you've been before, or you can go left. I'll let you now, guys decide. <laughs> Does it really matter? We're going left. Left, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, as you start to creep around, it is partly cloudy out there, so the moonlight is going to be shifty at best. Uh, in one nice, glorious episode of Moonlight, a beam shines down from the sky right near the gates, which you A, notice are open, and B, notice a body. <clears throat> oh, That good. Is there a Smith with Zeppelin, I mean, uh, Zeppelin, Zeppelin with runs forward. Short body or... Short at all. Kind of facing you, so you can't really tell. Zadar I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm still invisible, so I'll go up. Camille's just like it is. really? Really? It is a gnome. Uh is it? As some kind of guard like status. Uh Zeppelin uh rolls him over and there is a dagger thrust through his chest. <clears throat> Not to Appleby though, right? No. Not this Appleby. is one of his guards, right? Correct. Uh, Somebody's already been here. Zeppelin clinches his fist and rage runs into the stadium. I'm going to follow. As long as I don't get too far out of range of Zadar. Yeah. I will um, go, come on, Zadar. I'm, I'm following him. Yeah, Zadar is on his heels. <laughs> Okay. Camille, are you going to stay with the dead guard or follow your friends in? I'll stay with guard. I'm tired of fucking them. Camille stays outside. As you guys go in, uh, Zeppelin is running full tilt towards the middle of the stadium on the far side uh, where you see what you believe to be an office. Okay. We keep. I just keep going with them. Perception check, both of you. Uh, 21. Uh, perception is, um, it's high, 16 plus 8. <laughs> so you both hear a strange hiss, look up, and you see one of the aircraft slowly sinking down as its main balloon begins to shrink. Uh, this is a small craft 
similar to, but not Aerosmith. And uh, I point that out to uh, Zeppelin. Zeppelin's beeline into the office. Oh, okay. He's not, not, okay. So I've lost him. He's into the office and I'm seeing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just like, well, that's not good. So, what do you think it is? Now, remember, you're still invisible at this point in time. I know. I know. I mean, I'm going to step up by him. How, how high talk. is the landing up there? You mean the bottom of the boat? Uh, well, the aircraft, it, they're on top of like a landing or something, right? It was moored to a pole, but because it is currently deflating, it is drifting down into the center of the stadium. Oh, is, okay. Is it manned? Do we see anybody in it or is it just kind of? Investigation check. Oh, 18 on the die. So what is that? Uh, 20, a dirty 20. Nobody seems to be aboard. Yeah, 20 for Sadar. Is there any ropes or anything hanging off the edge? Sure. That could be caught? Because I think a dirigible, these, it is, they're flammable, right? The gas is flammable, right? That. Uh, Zadar. <laughs> I'm going to go try to catch a rope and climb up there and see if I can. Hey, I've been on one before, right? I remember what the hell to do, right? So I'm going to try to do that. Sure. It's Seems like a good swashbuckler it's, thing. It's not <laughs> gas, it's hot air. Give me an <laughs> acrobatics check to do this cool leap up. Oh my fucking God. Fucking that one. <laughs> the dirigible so, but, lands on top of you. That is still a check. Does that she is, take damage? Because if a, so, the invisibility is gone. <laughs> no, that's if you take damage. Uh, no, that I didn't attack. So. Oh, okay. It's if you take damage. Well, you rolled a nat one, so. Yeah, I know. It was, and that was a ten, by the way. So. That's a six. Damage. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't pop invisibility. He's the one that's going to take the damage, or I have to attack. What do you What do you mean? He takes the damage. If he takes damage, then he loses concentration, and the invisibility falls off of me. Right, I understand right. that. Yeah. But no, if you, you take damage, I mean, no, you're still going to no, get exposed, I, right? Pretty, no, I don't think so. It's only if I attack I get exposed. Okay. But I will take six points of damage. Okay. Correct. Uh, That's fine. Zadar, you have no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, perception check, Camille. So it landed. So it did land on me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's the, there's no danger of it now. Just okay. Well, you're trapped under a, a airship. Twelve. Can... How uh, much damage did she take? Six. six. Camille, six. Uh, you hear okay. fluttering of wings. Close to me. Oh yes, just above you. As you look up into the night sky, a giant raven is landing. When I say giant raven, I mean an aracocra. So it was an aracocra. Okay. <coughs> it is a female uh, from The Voice and asks if this was a friend of yours. The dead guy? Yeah. No, no, not a friend of mine. <clears throat> well, you should probably leave because things are going to get nasty here. Inside the stadium, Rosa, at disadvantage, Zadar, at <laughs> normal, give me a perception check. Can I get out, by the way? Uh, 20. That was so good. That's a 15, though, with disadvantage on perception. Give me a strength check. To see if you can weasel your way out. Wait, Bruce has got decent strength. I'm not gonna need fucking it. roll a four in the die. That's seven. Well, your feet are still trapped oh. underneath it. Uh, but you and Zadar here. Like. A what? fireball coming from the top of the stadium aimed directly at the dirigible. Oh geez. I I'm, so I hear it. I'm with under a it, right? You hear it. You see it. Rosa is pinned. You do not know that Rosa is pinned. Uh Rosa will roll at disadvantage 
However, she will have cover from the dirigible that is about to explode. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I do know it's coming. I mean, I'm gonna, but, I'm gonna take cover as best I can. Can't see invisibility. So. I, you, you don't know, but that's fine. I mean, there's not much. I don't have time. There's not, there's not time to pull me out. So I am gonna count. In fact, this thing is going. I do have cover with this thing. I'm going to basically try to ball myself up so I have as little exposed as possible. Sure. Now, Zadar, you can run and try. Well, you don't know Rose was pinned under, so you can't do shit. Uh, I don't know if she's under. I mean, yeah, I didn't yell. I didn't really yell particularly loud when it hit me or whatever. <clears throat> Give me your dex roll okay. there, Rosa. So dex save, save right? Save. You're going to take half or quarter. Uh, I'm going to take half let me make sure about something i don't think i have that so that fireball was aimed for the dirigible so aimed for rosa so it's somebody that can see invisibility you cannot ascertain whether okay or not. nope i don't know that okay so no i'm gonna take full that was a freaking this because of disadvantage wait disadvantage Disadvantage on your roll, but you'll only suffer half or quarter. All right, I'll take half because <laughs> I rolled. I rolled it. Got my roll sucked too. <coughs> How many hit points do you have, or did you have? I had. I have a thirty-three. <laughs> yeah. uh, you suffer eighteen hit points oh. of damage <clears throat> as the dirigible itself explodes. Oh. Uh, Zadar. You are far enough away that you do not suffer anything other than the feeling of intense heat. Your vision goes up to the top of the stadium, and you notice Missy Pyle in the moonlight. I'm trying to remember who was Missy Pyle. Missy Pyle was Raleigh Espinosa's girlfriend. Girlfriend. You hear a creak at the far end of the stadium. And through the flames, give me a perception check. This is where I kill all three of you. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm pretty perceptive. 18 plus 8. So, yeah. You see a human male dragging a gnome behind him. It's not towards, midnight yet, damn it. <laughs> towards the center. Uh, Camille, Fuck. initiative. Rosa and Zadar. Uh, Rosa, give me another strength check. Oh my damn it! Jesus Christ! My dice want me to die. Uh, that's it's a friggin' eight. You are still pinned. Fuck. Z Zadar, initiative. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to yell, by the way, for Zadar. I was about to say, you better let me know where you are. I, I fucking am, because this is not freaking working. Fuck me. Oh, my God. I rolled a one on the initiative. Oh, God damn it. What the hell is wrong with this? Ah, <laughs> uh, how did I do? I'm so screwed right now. Well, one on initiative is just a one. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't. You, you don't add your initiative bonus to it, right? Yeah, Correct. you do. Wait, no, yes, no, you it's can, a, but it's a one. It's Camille, a one. you're up. Uh, the Raven <clears throat> looks at you and goes, "I don't wait. I don't get initiative." No, you're pinned. No, you're pinned. Yeah, and but doesn't that give me a chance? Yeah, but doesn't that isn't that when I get to go to unpin myself? That's what your first roll was, the strength. Oh, all right. Uh, I gave you the advantage of... You're just going to let... All right, so, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, once you get pulled free, then I'll have you roll initiative. Okay, cool. Uh, Camille the Raven uh, kind of smirks half-assedly uh, and says, Oops, it's too late. Uh, business is at hand. It was nice knowing you. Uh, and they pull forth a scimitar. Uh Looks like it's going to be combat, and you're up. Oh, this thing's attacking... Camille, Camille is with a Raven Aarakocra. Right, the Aarakocra is attacking her, or just pulled the sword to engage the human? No, oh, the human's dead. She's going to come after me. Or the gnome is dead. Right. Yeah, 
they aren't even they don't even know what the fuck is going on i'm talking about the human figure dragging the gnome that's in the stadium she has no idea it's there now oh okay uh the raven might know what's going on camille has no clue as to what's going on all she heard was a loud boom and this era cocker is like too late you gotta die all right you're pissing me off so i'm gonna cast thunder wave at you nice Good move. That's a two on my roll. <laughs> that ain't gonna be good. Could have used pulse wave. <laughs> so that, what do I roll? I really would have rattled it. Speak. Uh, doesn't thunder wave knock it back too? Uh -huh. Yeah, there is a significant knock knockback. Thunder damage. Is that what it is? Probably. What level are you casting it? Yeah, you can cast it up to a fourth level, I believe. I think you've got fourth level spots. Yeah, I do. So is it just two D eight? Depends. If you want to cast it at four, you can do four D eight. Yeah, well let's do that. Okay. Now that will erase one of your fourth level slots for now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, pulse wave would have fucking killed it probably. <laughs> uh huh. What's nine and eight? Seventeen. And four. Twenty-one damage. Mm -hmm. And you knock her back twenty-one feet or ten feet rather. Twenty-one damage. Okay, so I've heard that. <laughs> uh. Whew. Incoming message. I have to ask this because we never discuss this sort of stuff. Yeah, I'll give you one. Cool. Uh, Zadar, shit is now breaking loose. Uh, right. However, you got a one. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do here? Uh, oh. Uh, you see Missy Pyle take flight and come down towards the burning wreckage. Uh, she knows I'm there. She's got to know I'm there. The human uh, approaches She's to me for some reason and kind of looks over at you. Do I recognize the human? Raleigh Espinosa. How many Her. people have I fucking pissed off here and that I don't know? I mean... If you read the backstory I gave you, you, you know did. Yeah, no, Morgan. I know, but there wasn't anything sinister about that. You'd think. <laughs> I mean, you didn't tell me <laughs> that anything weird happened on that trip. <laughs> uh, I just know I know these two. I know both of them, right? Yeah. It wasn't you, just him. You did, no, you just know him. Oh, okay. So she wasn't with him at the time. Correct. Okay. Uh, Zadar, I'm not going to take any <laughs> fighting. Uh, I will just tap the gnome, apparently Rosa's friend, in the chest with a dagger and just kind of drag along his chest. And I will ask you, where's Rosa? He's in the city. Wait, do I hear this? Mm -hmm. and, and I assume she's nearby. I'm fucking under this dirigible. Leave them alone. You want me for some fucking reason. Fair ah, enough. Here. <laughs> Drop the invisibility oh, and up. help me the fuck that out of here. Uh, Drop the fucking invisible and help me out of here. I gotta wait for my action. I know. Your, your action is up. Okay. <laughs> my action is up. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it, girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to uh, protect. I'm trying to take the heat, <laughs> literally here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get are. it off you two. Yeah. So, oh. all right. Hmm. I need to read something on this spell real quick. So, sure. all right. Uh, neither of you got healing. Neither of you two got picked up. You're, you're pinned under a dirigible. So, and <laughs> I don't burning. think I'm, I'm not even there. 
Yeah. A burning so, dirigible. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm dying here, folks. Uh-huh. I'm annoyed right, because I are. have a good strength, damn it. All right. <coughs> so, yeah. Zadar is going to uh, take the dash action. Okay. Dropping invisibility. Cool. And heading for the dirigible when he can see Rosa. Uh, sure. Missy Pyle then cackles loudly like she is uh, uh, who is in Harry Potter. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. The, the, the crazy Beatrix, one? Uh, Beatrix, Beatrix Bellatrix is strange? Bellatrix. She cackles like Bellatrix is strange. Fuck, that's she's not she's good. Rosa. Well, she's already yeah. fireballed you once. What do you want? <laughs> Outside. I don't even know uh that's just my off. movement that's not my action what do you want to do okay so i take my <laughs> movement am i able to get to to rosa mm -hmm. okay i grab her hand cast misty step yes. pull her arm out of his socket <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it works and i and i'm trying to think of what direction uh hey can i can i see past or uh, it's got to be someplace that I've seen within 30 feet of me. I was going to say, 30 going feet, you're, you're in the middle of the stadium. Yeah. Oh, so the Dredge Bowl was in the middle of the stadium. Okay, yep. so so I <coughs> grab her and bam, uh, 30 feet down to the opposite end of the stadium. Towards uh, Raleigh? <laughs> Is oh, or, so where you came in? Yeah, towards Camille. Yeah, sure. that's fine. Uh, you get about halfway there. Okay. Uh, outside uh, Noir, the Aracocra is pissed. I love uh, the name. <laughs> after, it's so cool. After being blasted backwards, uh, takes flight and charges you to attack. It was a six. <laughs> Good dice rolls there, man. She's a small target. As good as mine. Uh, six plus seven, 13. <coughs> uh, bloodied Ooh. and missing a few feathers. That is the end of that round for everybody. Round two, uh, Camille, you still have initiative on Noir. Do I get uh, an initiative roll now? You may roll your initiative. Okay. I, well, I might as well. Pulse I guess wave. I shouldn't have bothered. I rolled one better than you, so ha, at least I get to add my bonus. Uh, that's an eight. Can I do pulse wave after doing thunder wave? Yeah. yeah, you, yeah. Thunder as long wave. as you got the spell slot, you can do it. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, what's my save this time? Uh oh. 16 plus, what is it, dexterity? Four, 30, 20. Mm. I believe I, I will sustain half damage this time. Okay. So. Uh, uh, three, Holy shit. <laughs> I'm about to eat crow. <laughs> Get it? Oh, uh, consti constitution. Is she about to cook the crow? 16, 17, which I think I still passed. Now you uh -huh. distracted me. 6d6 yes. and I'm taking half. I know. I was counting. You mean... You need to actually find 6d6. Yeah. yeah. It's more fun to roll all those dice. So, 3, 7, 8, 9. So I won't be pushed back this time if I survive. So you'll take 10. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass now. <coughs> At least one shot. Uh, 14s beat everything. Uh, except for Camille. So, Camille, uh, I did not get pushed back. So, I'm going to put the beat down on your ass with two attacks. Uh, 15. I got doubles. Yeah, 15 hits. <laughs> you should have cast Mage Armor. 
Uh, what do I do? Who should use the longbow? Whew, this is gonna hurt. Uh, one and a four, eight and five is nine damage to you as you get hoo, 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 ginsued. Uh, <laughs> in, in the stadium, uh, you see Raleigh conk the gnome on the head and down he goes. He is going to suffer. Hmm, interesting. Uh, meanwhile, Missy Pyle, clearly a wizard, is going to light one of you up. Uh, odd Rosa, even Zadar. Thor, Zadar. Uh, I'm going to use Chill Touch. 19 plus 7, 26. Okay, uh 2d8 necrotic okay mm -hmm. uh she cackles loudly and hits you for eight hit points okay do I, am i restrained no Don't just me. chill touch uh, well chill touch is a ghostly hand it touches just, me does it reduce my movement to zero it also suffers disadvantage on the attack rolls until the end of your next turn is this one okay okay so, so so how many points necrotic eight eight okay rosa uh you through the flaming wreckage see your friend appleby ponderosa go down you do not know if he is dead or not the blow was rather significant uh this guy raleigh is about 90 feet away. Uh, Missy Pyle is 60 feet away. Uh, God, everybody's so far, friggin' far away. Uh, well, that's why Raleigh didn't charge. So, you're up, then Zadar. Oh, God. Uh, what do you two freaking want? Um, I'm drawing... I can draw my two weapons. A part of a move, I believe. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, I'm going after her. Huh? Casters are fairly, fairly freaking dangerous. As, uh, I will, as you have seen. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a move and bonus to dash to get to her because that's sixty feet. Okay. Also, I can get to him, run around. Um. She is sixty feet away. Raleigh is 90 feet away. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I can take a bonus to dash and... Oh, actually, I can do it as a bonus action. So I can move for 30 feet, take the dash bonus action for my cunning action, to another 30 feet, and I can actually attack her. <laughs> but I will always say, what do you want? Your head. And because I got fancy, let me make sure that that actually... I think it's a just get it. <coughs> uh, fancy footwork. Yep, that's it. I don't need to activate anything. All right. 18 on the die. So that is. Now is fancy footwork 24. an action? No, fancy footwork is I just, no, it's not an action. It's, it's part of my attack. Okay. It, it says literally just so the viewers out there can know this too during your turn if you make an if you if you make a melee attack against a creature that creature can't make oh that's opportunities rake us a dash no wait what the hell is it called it's the i know what i'm looking for here where is the friggin' thing that i actually get what the hell is it well she's looking zadar what are you sorry doing? it's i get swashbuckle oh it's yeah it's fancy footwork it, it make it really oh no that's opportunity attacks where's the thing that says I can sneak attack. Oh, there's not going to be a sneak attack if you want to run out. No, I, I get one. I don't need anybody near me. That's part of the deal. That's part of the class of the swashbuckler. If you want to keep going, I'll, I'll find Z it. Zadar, what are you doing while she's figuring that one out? Okay, I know where Missy Piles is, so I'm going to light her up. <laughs> okay. I, I now, cast... I cast now, 
Rosa is. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's rakish audacity. You don't need advantage on the attack roll to use your sneak attack against creature if you're within five feet of it. No other creatures within five feet of it, and you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. So, so that I do get sneak attack. How big is your bonfire? Is it our five feet? Okay. It's a five foot cube or whatever. How much damage, or do I make a save? Uh, a deck save, you know, fifteen. Uh, eighteen on the die. Okay. I Plus think she'll take half damage. Deck, probably. It takes three that, points fire damage. Uh, Twenty-one points of rapier damage. Got it. And I do ask, what the fuck is this all about? Fair enough. I have no idea. Round three, Camille. <coughs> yeah, you can. I cast blood on her. Uh, she's not going to be strong enough to break that. Webb goes up outside and catches the Aarakocra. Uh, I will try again, since it's my turn. And that is another six. Uh, out of the flames, poof, Missy Pyle stands next to Raleigh Espinoza, who Wait. laughs. Weren't they 30 feet apart? Wasn't he 90 feet? And she was 60 feet. Yep. So she moved out of my range, which means Mist I get to a friggin' hit her. Misty stepped out. Oh, of she the misty range. stepped. Sorry. Okay. Yep. Uh, they are now laughing at both of you. Do they answer my fucking question? They're laughing at you. Uh, and uh, I don't think he has a bow. Well, he's got a short bow, but he's got his rapier. Uh, they're just laughing at you. So, Rosa, you're now 30 feet away from both of them. What do you want to do? How bad does she look? Uh, 24 hit points down. I almost want to make an inside check to figure out what the fuck their game is. She's hurt. Yeah, but why are they laughing at me? This They're laughing at both of you. They're evil henchmen. They're gonna laugh at you. That's, yeah, that's their job. What you asked me here, what do you fucking want? And speaking is free, so I'm gonna move and I'm gonna use my So let's see. I will attack. I'm the only one. What does not matter? If someone else is messing with them, I still get a sneak attack. Haha. -ha. Swashbucklers are amazing. Ah, oh, except for when I roll badly. For the first attack, it's getting missed because that's not even a 10. Rolling as good as your roll. Jesus right. fucking Christ. Ah, uh, it's two misses, so they can laugh at me all they want because my dice fucking hate me. Zidar, you're up. How far away is uh, are they from me? Uh, They would be <coughs> 30 and 30, 60 feet. They're 60 feet? Okay. Uh... Yeah, Zadar uh, casts uh, magic missile. Again, uh, Missy or Raleigh? Two to Missy, one to Raleigh. Okay. Raleigh. Raleigh, really. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, magic missile. Okay, uh, Missy for two darts uh, takes 10 points of force damage and Raleigh takes four points. Got it. New round, Camille. Uh, the web has ensnared Noir, the Aarakocra, who fights but does not escape. Uh, what you want to do with it? Mm. I laugh at your, her. Do you have seven herbs and spices? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Don't you have don't you have poison spray or something? I don't have that. Um I have ray of frost. You got sickening. I've got ray of sickness. True strike. 
Oh, um, I didn't take my movement, Frank. Correct. I'm going to move. Uh, when I cast Magic Missile, I am running right at him. Okay. <clears throat> so how about Magic Missile? Sure. So, so I Light moved 30 feet in their direction, dashing. Yep, you're halfway there. So, magic Missile. So I use Magic Missile on her. How much damage? What do I roll? 1d4 plus 1? Yep, three times if you're using it at first level. You can up it, you know, and cast more. Yeah, she's starting I to like, lose levels. Yeah. Besides, if she knew how many hit points this thing had, it wouldn't be worth it, right? <laughs> so, six. Uh, six puts it at 40, and it has 39 hit points. Yeah! The is no longer alive. Fuck you, bitch! And I go pluck a feather. Uh, oh. give me a d20 roll. Me? Yep. Oh. You try to pluck a feather. 15. You reach in between the silky strands and pluck a feather, you do not get stuck in the web yourself. <laughs> oh <my God>. uh, <laughs> that would have been funny. Uh, Raleigh and Missy are going to go after Rosa, and this is going to fucking hurt if they oh, hit. No. Oh, no, 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 no. This because is bad. Raleigh is also a swashbuckler. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it I looks will, like Uncanny Dodge might come into play. I, I will go with Missy. Uh, if she uses magic, even. They're trying to kill me, David. and I'm not even sure why. Deuce. Uh, I'm going to use magic missile at first level. At me? Nope. Oh, good. Four, two, and one. Uh, seven plus three is <coughs> ten damage uh, to Zadar. Uh, <laughs> lights you up. Uh, That's good, it wasn't a me. <laughs> Raleigh, I think, gets two attacks. Well, if he's a swashbuckler at... Yeah, he gets, well, he gets one and he can use a bonus if he's got two weapons. He does. Uh, yeah, so he gets... We'll, yeah. We'll go rapier and dagger. Rapier? Twelve plus... Seven, nineteen. That'll hit. Uh, dagger eleven plus seven, eighteen. That hits. Uh, I'm gonna uncanny dodge the first one because that's the one you put the sneak attack on. Okay. <laughs> you don't get them on both. Uh, the damage from the dagger is four plus four, and I'm going to need you to make a Constitution save. Oh, friggin' wonderful. We all know how my saves are in cred. Oh, actually, that's going to probably make us. That's a 19. Four plus four damage. So uh, four, wait, wait, how much damage? Four plus four. Eight. Eight. All right, what'd you, but what'd you do on the, the, the rape? Oh, God. Uh, what'd you do on the rapier, which was your first attack? Didn't you uncanny dodge it? Uncanny dodge only does half. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's uh, not. Yeah, no. Uncanny judge just means. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. One d eight plus four, eight total. I go down. Wait. Uh, yeah, I go down. One d eight plus four. At you rolled sneak attack. Doesn't really matter. I'm I'm down. Yeah, I'm not rolling sneak attack on this one. Uh Zadar, you best do something because Rosa okay. just canned it. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Pulling his scimitar, uh, Sadar Misty steps, launching an attack at Missy Piles. He's going to try to impale her. Sure. Okay, so roll. Are you going to are you going to step on Rosa as you do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if she's in the way. She's... No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, no, 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 no. I know you are. Um... I'm. Yeah, I, I'm. Run. You know blinking right trying to 
trying to impale Missy. So. Sure, go ahead. <clears throat> <clears throat> she has not cast Mage Armor yet. 27 to hit. Yeah, that kind of hits. <laughs> That's the first attack. Okay. 10 points slashing damage. Okay. Uh, second attack. Uh, let's see. That is uh, 23 to hit. And this is when the shit's really going to hurt. Uh, let's see. Okay. Because I'm attacking her with that that flame dagger that I got off the uh, Gith Yankee. Yep. Okay. So, uh, 14 points of uh, combination uh, piercing and fire damage. Off with her head. Wow. So down she goes. What? And I round on Raleigh. <laughs> round four. A crossbow bolt zings left to right. From where? And goes over Raleigh's head. Uh, Camille, you are outside. Somebody's you have killed the Aarakocra. You hear sounds of battle inside the stade. What do you want to do? Well, I guess I better go see if my compatriots need any help. You think? Use your movement as you get to the entrance of the stadium. The fire, two of them, are burning low. You see Zadar facing off with a human. Body, body, body. So I don't see Rosa anywhere? No, you see me lying on the ground, probably. Oh, you're a body on the ground? Yeah, you I assume went that she's a body. Okay. And the thing that he's facing off is against what? The human. Raleigh. Your buddy Raleigh. The assassin. <laughs> you are 120 feet away. Oh, good lord. I get to do this again tomorrow. <laughs> if I live. So, can I cast invisibility on somebody else? I don't think you're in range. The only thing I think you're it's in a range. touch spell. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I think the Darn only it. thing you got is magic missile. Yeah, we'll do that. And you've got no healing, right? No. <laughs> Uh, gonna do it at first level and send three darts. Yep. D four. Add three. Folks, we're gonna go a little long, but that's okay. All right, yeah, we gotta finish this. Fine. Four plus three. Mm -hmm. How many times did you roll the D four? Just one. Roll two more times. You get three missiles. Three. Check missile and four. So seven. Got it. Uh hmm. Do battle. Uh Raleigh. Threw the head at him. <laughs> what? I threw the head at him. <laughs> no, yeah. that's an action, so never mind. Yeah, two attacks. First one is the rapier. Okay. Uh, 15 plus 7, 22. Okay, that hits. The dagger is a 3, plus 7 is a 10. That does not hit. Uh, you do not need to make a constitution roll since the dagger missed. Uh, you mean the poison wasn't cleaned off in my system? Not yet. <laughs> Uh, no. ooh, 10 hit points of damage, though, as he pokes holes in you. Okay. Rosa, death roll. Yippee. Nope. Zadar. Uh, casting Green Flame Blade, Zadar's, both Zadar's scimitars light up. Light up. <laughs> 
And uh, <laughs> yeah, he is going to attack Raleigh. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, does a 20 hit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Strangely, he only has an AC of 15 for some reason. <laughs> uh, with the, that, that one, he takes uh, six slashing and eight fire damage. 14. With the offhand. Uh, let's see. Uh, 16 to hit? Yeah, AC 15. Okay. Uh, another eight points fire damage and 11 points slashing. So 19. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. New round. Fwing! The crossbow bolt sails long again. The Come fuck is shooting crossbow bolts? Somebody's Real. helping, I think. Eh, not, not without result. Not very well. No, somebody is trying to help us. Camille, you're up. I can serve death. Guess I'll because... do magic missile again. Oh my lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. Two... Pray I roll better. Guys, fucking, you're going to get me killed. Trying to get to you, Rosa. Nine. I gotta take this guy out. Plus three. Yeah. Fine, it's fine. Twelve. Just pray I don't roll a fucking one. Three missiles strike Raleigh Espinosa right in the chest, and he keels backwards, falling <laughs> into the sand. Uh, Rosa, death roll. Terry doesn't go before me. She just did. Oh, all right. Never mind. I'm she sorry. She put the magic missiles into his trunk. It's a failure, but that's not a nat one, so... Zadar. Oh, my God. No, Raleigh Espinosa is dead. I'm going to make sure he's dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Poke it with a stick. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm sending a scimitar right through his head. Sure. Okay. <laughs> It's you, a, he's dead, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, he's dead. Uh, do you get a bonus action? I do. Okay, what are you gonna do with it? Where is Camille? At the entrance. Oh shit. Okay. Oh man, did I have to take a movement to get to him? Oh yeah. Oh no, okay. No, he, he got knocked he, back. I was I was fighting him, so he was right in my in my grill. He's on the deck below you or in front of you. Okay. Missy is on the deck to your right. Rosa is on the deck to your far right in the three o'clock position. Okay. Is Missy still alive? No getting to me. Not no, unless Missy's the gone. Uh, not unless the head uh, is irrelevant. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess if that counts as my action, <laughs> but if I take my movement after I <laughs> check that, I'm gonna go towards Rosa. So she's right there. She's like, okay, how, okay. So, um, it, it was Missy, Raleigh, Rosa, you. Okay. I you guys have, are all uh, within a cube. I have a potion of healing. Okay. So, uh, um, can you do it? Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, initiative is over. I can free action now, right? Well, te- no, I, I, we got, we still are technically initiatives because I've got to resolve the death save in oh, turn. Okay. So okay. if you use your action doing something else, you do not have an action, and I have to make that last roll. Okay, roll don't blame this on me. <laughs> How about you guys D12 it off? Okay. Uh, All right. Why, do I want to win or lose this? Uh, eight. A uh, four. I'm not sure that I told you did I want to win or lose this. Pumper throat, Zadar. I mean, obviously, okay. I'd let wow. him go first. Yeah. <laughs> Zadar opens her mouth and just pours the healing potion down her gullet. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check. 
Perception for Zadar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And medicine. Alrighty. Medicine. Uh, 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 Where's the healing potion? Though? Give me back. We'll see how much. Oh, uh, let's see. At least a hit point. You know what? I'll take. Uh, all I need is one. <laughs> all I need is one fucking hit point. Uh, perception <laughs> is. Uh, I'm so stressed. Yeah, twenty one. You take out the potion, bite the cork, start to pour, and you hear a low moan coming from the gnome. What's your medicine check? Oh wow! Oh, I I gotta roll a medicine check. Sorry. Uh, so Let's see. Uh, medicine check is a um, it's a dirty twenty. You get one d eight plus two, Rosa. I'll let All you right. roll for it. What's what's that? I roll for it. Yep. Uh, Camille, are you headed towards the d eight? Fuck mess. Three. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Oh uh, my god, this is a disaster. It's a three plus two uh, is five. You see, uh, Zadar kneel down. Pour a potion down, Rosa. <laughs> Zeppelin Smith coming from the left side, holding a crossbow, reloading it as he's walking. But directly in front of you, coming through the other entrance, Ugh. are three members of the pick. I am in no shape for this. Where is... Uh... Okay. Three members of pick. Are we out of initiative and all that at this point? For now. For now? Okay. Uh, is Missy's head near me? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> so is Zeppelin? It's just like, uh, so Zadar reaches down, grabs Missy's head, faces the, the, the Brotherhood of Pick, holding out the, the flaming scimitar. It's just like, you know, if any of you fuckers want to talk now, now's the fucking time and I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Intimidation you, check. What do so. you fuckers want? What's your question, Camille? Um, Zeppelin, has he been any part of this whole battle? He's yeah, been trying. He, he's the crossbow guy. <laughs> right, but... Oh, she's got the hots for Zeppelin. No, no. The crossbow. He wasn't the one that tried to kill Kennedy, was he? No, this okay. is a shitty old crossbow. Uh, the members of Pick roll. That was natural... Riley's crossbow. <laughs> yeah, that... Raleigh, yeah. Uh, oh, they were a natural 20. They are not intimidated. They continue to walk forward, surveying the keep... damage. One of them picks up the gnome and dusts him off. Uh, Appleby Ponderosa is seeing the birds <laughs> rolling across his head. The <laughs> the main pick guy who you've been dealing with this entire time looks around, looks at Rosa, and says, are you Rosa? Yeah, what do you want? We want you. What do you want with me? We have a few questions about unbridled assassination attempts ask we understand that you have been hired to go ahead and assassinate prince kennedy uh not the last time i looked we oh, where did you hear fucking that uh what was the last place you were at uh before this where i picked up raleigh yep uh fix your cars modius Yes, uh, we received word from Modius that you were part of an unsanctioned hit on Prince Kennedy. We cannot allow that. Uh, uh, the member um, of the pick behind them is going and looking at Raleigh, going through his belongings, since nobody else is looting the body, and points out, sir, we might have a problem. Uh, the Pick Monk looks at you, Rose, and says, one moment. I Don't say, you guys are assholes. Just Noted. letting you know. Uh, and they keep an eye on you and your quarter staff. <laughs> mm, you should. <laughs> uh, they discuss something. You cannot hear them. And then 
ask all three of you, who is this? Who's who? Raleigh Espinoza? Raleigh Espinoza. I mean, I, yeah, that's, yeah. Siddharth He's a dick. Confirms it. It is Raleigh And I don't Espinoza. know who she is, but <laughs> she was with him. And that's Missy Pyle. I don't, or was. Don't. This is Missy Pyle. We, we don't care about her. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Sadar tosses one. the head to the side. <laughs> uh, what do you know of Raleigh Espinoza? Not much. I gave him a ride on my boat. From where? Modius. That's it. I just gave him a ride. Nothing else. He wanted you know to come who, here. Do you know who he is? Nope. But he has well, money. Like, obviously, he's an assassin. Well, obviously, <laughs> I know that now, but he had money, a good coin, and I needed some coin. That's what we do. Uh, the third one that picked up the halfling whispers arcane language. Give me wisdom saves, all three of you. Do I really need to? I'm tempted to just fail. I'm not going to fail, but I'm tempted to say, fuck it. I'll let, it ha let the zone of truth happen. Wisdom uh, save 16. 19 for Sadar. This is a zone of truth. Uh, shit. They begin to ask you questions pertaining to your involvement in the assassination. There I is was not involved. I haven't seen these two people in like months. Okay, so they are obviously not involved. And I oh, just it sounded gave him like a you ride. were going to throw us under the bus. And I'm just here. Why would I do that? To try to save Mortimer, who hasn't shown up yet because he's an asshole. True. They called us here. I'm still not even sure why they tried to kill me. I assume them too because they were here with me. They, whoever she is, uh, do you know what the first rule of assassination is? Kill the assassin. Correct. You appear to be getting set up for the assassination attempt of Prince Kennedy. At this moment, the Fuck. flapping of wings can be heard. Of course. And it is Blue Jay and two cardinals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so gonna die now. Who land. We thought it was close before. How does the Blue Jay all of a sudden start consorting with cardinals? They're all part oh, of Oh, and I got my red feathers. So, um, mm -hmm. by the way, can I surreptitiously drink my healing potion? Sure. They don't even have weapons pulled. All right. What, what, how much healing is this going to do? D8, D8 plus, plus two. two. Uh, they go ahead and throw a piece of parchment at you, Rosa. As I drink that. Okay. So at least now I get double digits. Ah, uh, barely double digits. All right. I'm going to look at it. Uh, it is a detailed missive from somebody with the mark of an R pointing out that you are to kill Prince Kennedy and set your transport up to take the fall. This would have been a letter addressed to Raleigh Espinoza. Well, Essentially a there you go. letter that clears you. Yeah. The order of pick requests that you come with them to go ahead and give testimony so that you are exonerated. Right. We'll never see you again. And again. Never know. It's like they have, the government. They, they have no weapons. They're taking you to a Yankee white facility. Exactly. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> uh, but they request that you accompany them. You may bring your own ship back to uh, north of Cacophony and give testimony. So I don't have a choice, do I? You can say no. But they do not appear to be menacing or intimidating they are asking you for you might want to clear your name i mean and i tell them we will know we, we remember. can't we can't do it here huh 
Uh, Blue Jay is incensed until he is told about the note and asks to see the note. Can I be he, beat him about the head and neck? No. Is there anything else you want to mention? Me? Ooh. Any Zadar. of Zadar. Uh, Zadar says, this is our assassin right here, and a point, point my okay. scimitar to Raleigh's dead body. Okay. And his cohort head being over there. Yeah. They tried to set me up. These the are the two that put passage on Rosa's ship. Well, it appears as though you might have been set up after all. Gee, you think? He then produces the crossbow and huh. goes, would you like your crossbow back? To Rosa? Is it actually mine? You've never seen this crossbow before. It's a black but, lacquered crossbow with a I mean, R stamped on the bottom. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not mine. It's not mine. But um, I'll take it. But it's not mine. R, I would assume, means Raleigh, too. We'll keep it. Oh, it's so pretty, though. Uh, you guys are when... so, so easy. Zeppelin then goes into a profane tirade of what the fuck are you guys doing? Why do I have a blown up ship here? Who are you? Who are you? And who are you? And why the fuck are you here? Uh, Appleby is still out of it and just gladly pronounces, I'm Appleby, <laughs> as he has a Rain Man moment. Uh, and I tried to calm guy. him down. <laughs> sure. And uh, I say, yeah, I, it's okay. I try to, I try to bring uh, Zeppelin up to speed. Okay. Uh, he asks for compensation from us or from anybody, Nick? all of you. No. How much compensation are you looking for? That's I, not my ship, and the insurance isn't going to pay for it. I go. What does Raleigh or does Raleigh or or his girlfriend there have any money? Any pouches of money in it? Ah, Jeff. yes. Uh, there are. There is some jewelry. Well, it used to be around the neck of Missy, but that came off. Pick all that stuff up. I'm gonna. You know, let's see. I want to make a thievery check to palm something here. Wait, is it thievery? No, it's not thievery. But ours it's a gonna, sleight of hand. I'm not gonna, good at sleight of hand. Going to cast detect magic. Uh, there is ah. a magic belt on Raleigh. I belt? try to palm one of the jewels, but I do a terrible job. And if I realize that, I will. But I will basically, I'll give him money. And is this enough? It's one of those belts that like buckle around his waist, right? It's not in his pants, right? Okay. Correct. Okay, I'll go ahead and take the, the belt off of him. So. I want that. Not that. Uh, what, what, what school of magic is it? Um, uh, invocation. I said, if you give me a minute, I'll tell you what it is. 10 minutes. Sure. Okay. Uh, start, Ro start casting identify rosa uh they want to leave now god i don't even get time to recover fine uh we this unfortunately so we would go sus. with you but we gotta find mortimer yeah you do so we we can't leave with you but i i assure you I mean, you're you're cleared. The bro the Pick Brotherhood they don't have a beef with us anymore, so that's good. Sure that they say we don't have a beef with her. We just want her to testify. Yeah. How about her working issues? Her, her dubious clientele. Mm, that's Basically. not what you said. We're also going to take this. They one. thought I was <laughs> part of the ring. That's Had to fine. take which one? Appleby. Oh. Well, I was hoping Appleby would just come. And he points out, I pulled up my pants. <laughs> come on, buddy. Poor we'll get you guy. fixed up. 
Uh, Blue Jay, after they leave, Blue Jay will apologize to both Camille and Zadar. And I both. say... Always the spirited group. She's, she's got quite the vernacular. That's no, right. I didn't say anything. I just went... Anybody else want to say anything? Um, Not there anymore. I, I apologize. To who? To Zeppelin. Oh, okay. You know, That's that fine. this went down here tonight. Yeah, he did kind of destroy his place. And it is now midnight. It wasn't yeah. our fault that it was uh, destroyed. I identify. What is, what is the object? The belt? Uh, the object is missile deflection. Oh, oh shit! Okay, wow. Damn, the Rose in the other game could certainly use that thing. But that that doesn't all, apply. All three of these guys oh, could. That doesn't apply to magic missile, though, right? It will not deflect the magic missile. Right? Clearly not. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> so. so there you go. Uh, okay. Blue Jay, the two Cardinals will fly off. The order of pick, three members. We'll take Rosa and Appleby Ponderosa away. Uh, Zidar, Camille, you can trudge back to uh, your inn because uh, it is now midnight and you've had the shit kicked out of you. Of course. Yeah, I, I asked Zeppelin to join us for drinks on our way back to the place. I'm going to bet. <laughs> and I say, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm tired, but I'm just being cordial. So we're going to bed too. <laughs> and for that, we will go ahead and end the last episode of the year. Uh, Carol, what'd you think? Well, shit, that was interesting. Uh, you I almost. No I, thought idea. You, I thought he was gonna fucking let you die. I, I really thought did. so. T- no, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna let her die. Yeah, for, for the record, I wasn't. I wasn't. I just didn't know action he, economy. And yeah, so. I know, I know. And it's like, oh God, what are you gonna do? What do you do? You're gonna make sure he's gonna you're gonna let me die to make sure he's dead. What? Hey, you and know I was what? like, but it's For okay. And giggles, I did not know. Oh uh, no, I already did. I would have died. I wrote a six. <laughs> <laughs> so uh the thing I had is, to make sure he was dead. I seriously had to make sure this dude was the, fucking I mean, gone. I mean, technically as a GM, I probably ruled that as a bonus action anyways. And so he would have had his action to do it. However, what I did not realize, honestly, is that you actually had a healing potion on your person. Because I have one of me and then you would have had to spend time trying to find it. So um, I didn't realize you actually had one. So yeah, well, thank you the, for- It was in the bag Fuck. of holding. So, uh, yeah. if I, if I have some way of doing it before I left, I, oh, you know what? I said I was going to palm a, a, a jewel. I will leave that actually with you to pay for the healing potion. So the you jewel? can get another one. Okay. If Frank is okay with that uh, and makes it enough to actually buy you one. Uh, it was fun. And I kind of, I really like playing this character and it was really fun to come back and I kind of wanted it to last more than one week, but. <laughs> 98 gold pieces on that wow. gem. They'll, they'll okay. pitch get you that, your that's, way there. That's how you fucking roll for that. <laughs> that wasn't necessary, but yeah, I'll take it. Maybe, you know what? This Rose is not dead, so she may she be back someday. Back. That's right. I wasn't going to let I mean, die. I mean, I mean, I've got another, I got another gaming group on this Thursday night, too, and I have to deal with it. <laughs> David, what do you think? People I know, I just can keep coming back. Uh, I love it. I am grateful that uh, Zadar is an arcane trickster with, uh, oh, yes. yeah, with uh, <coughs> you know, a level M wizard. Because <laughs> it came in handy. Yeah, it did come in handy today. And yep. Carrie, what would you think? We enjoyed kicking the raven's ass. Although... I know. Too bad, I, I too bad you get over didn't that. mention that to anybody. <laughs> Who was I going to mention it to? There was nobody around me. I, I wouldn't have noticed when I walked out. Were there out. any fucking Aarakocra? No, because they went out that way. Because I just say, <laughs> oh, hello, I I've just kicked a raven's ass. Anybody? What, what, so anybody? was Noir working for them? We, we will don't never know. know we have a recap later we didn't have time to do it here <laughs> that's I, okay I, you know maybe you find out next time 
Exactly. Yep. Next uh, year. Folks, uh, we hope you enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed presenting it to you. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, if you ever want to be on the show, hit us up, mhobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, uh, Twitch, uh, YouTube Archive, Audio Archive off Podbean, Discord. Uh, and we've got something coming up in February. Oh, that's right. Murder Hobo Con. Yay! Uh, Valentine's wanna, Day. If you want to run something, sign up is now available. Buying badges will happen in a couple weeks. Uh, oh, my God. It's moving so quickly. It's coming up on us. Uh, folks, we doing? hope you all have a safe New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and hope only the best for your family. Thanks for watching us again. Everybody, kiss and wave. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. See you in 2022. Yeah. Muted. And done.